Welcome back to my editor-in-chief desk where I help you live and work like a writer. And if you are looking for more time to write, more time to work on the creative projects that matter to you, that are meaningful to you, you might be wondering if you need to get up early or stay up late to work on them. And the answer to that question of whether you should get up early or stay up late is going to vary obviously depending on your schedule depending on your other responsibilities but you will need to pick one and i think picking one choice that works for you at the moment is a very powerful choice to make you are committing to your project you have evaluated your life your other priorities your other responsibilities and you are choosing the time that works for you at the moment and at the moment is pretty critical here because it will evolve as your life evolves as your responsibilities evolve so rather than trying to think of every possible scenario of how this is going to be your permanent writing schedule or your permanent time for your creative projects just know it will evolve i have shuffled and rotated through getting up early staying up late getting up early and staying up late both and it really just depends on what else is going on in your life at the time i recommend if you are just getting started that you should make time at the beginning of your day before your other responsibilities start and at the end of the day when you have time to settle down that's another good time to dedicate to your writing and this does not have to be overwhelming and it shouldn't be overwhelming that is also very key you don't want to start implementing something that's unrealistic because you won't stick with it and sticking with it is another very important uh, thing. This isn't something you should do once a week, once a month. It should become a daily habit. That's why Robert Greene's new book is something called The Daily Laws. It's not about what your life is going to look like. It's really an exercise of staying present and forgetting about what your life is gonna look like as a whole and committing to a daily practice even if it's small get it done it's something you can check off your to-do list so if you are just getting started and you're not quite sure where you're going to fit in time for writing i do recommend starting with 30 minutes at the beginning of your day before your other responsibilities start and 30 minutes at the end of the day when you have more free time if you can do that hour that split up hour which makes it very doable it feels really satisfying that you've worked on something that's meaningful to you an hour each day and if you don't hit the 30 minutes in the morning and the 30 minutes in the evening and you only get 15 in the morning and 15 in the evening that's still very satisfying the key is being flexible and sticking to it whatever sticking to it looks like that day now in other times as your responsibility your other life responsibilities and priorities evolve you may only need 30 minutes to an hour at the beginning of your day or 30 minutes to an hour at the end of your day but you can decide as things uh, go along for you because we work with life which is what i've been saying in all of my recent videos we don't escape life to write we work with life so let me know about your current writing routine if you're thinking about changing it up maybe you've had life changes and you need to adapt to those changes and you are thinking about new ways to fit in time for your creative projects let me know all about how you make time to write in the comments below give this video a thumbs up to help other writers find it subscribe and ring my bell so that you never miss a video or you can thumbs down it and unsubscribe if you're still with me i will talk with you soon